ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय We're reading from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 10, Chapter 66, entitled Pondraka, the False Vasudeva, Text 25. Shirohpatitam Alokya Rajat Varesa Kundalam Kimidam kasya vavaktram Iti samshi shire janaha Translation B- um, Seeing a head decorated with earrings lying at the gate of the royal palace, the people present were puzzled. Some of them asked, what is this? And others said, it's a head, but who's it, who is it? Lidé, kteří spatřili u brány královského paláce ležet hlavu ozdobenou náušnicemi, byli zmatení. Někteří se ptali, co to je, a jiní říkali, je to hlava, ale čí? Purport. Srila Prabhupada writes as follows. When the head of the king of Kashi was thrown through the city gate, people gathered and were astonished to see that wonderful thing. Uh, when they found out that they were earrings on it, they could understand that it was someone's head. They conjectured as to whose head it might be. Some thought it was Krishna's head, because Krishna was the enemy of Kashiraja, and they calculated that the king of Kashi might have thrown king, uh, Krishna's head into the city so that the people might take pleasure in the enemies having been killed. But it was finally detected that the head was not Krishna's, but that of Kashiraja himself. Význam. Šrila Prabhupada píše, když hlava krále Káši přiletla městskou bránou, schromáždili se kolem lidé a divili se při pohledu na tu podivohodnou věc. Jakmile uviděli na ošnice, pochopili, že je to něčí hlava. Dohadovali se, čí hlava to může být. Někteří si mysleli, že je Krišnova, protože Krišna byl nepřítel Káši Ráža. A tak se domnívali, že král Káší hodil do města jeho hlavu, aby se lidé mohli radovat z nepřítelovy smrti. Nakonec však zjistili, že hlava nepatřila Krišnovi, ale samotnému Káší Rážovi. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So today <coughs> uh, we are continuing this um, story about how uh, false uh, Vasudeva, Pandraka, um, pretended or, or thought in, in, in reality, he really thought that he is Krishna and how he was killed, but not just him, also his allies were killed. Um, and here it is stated that Kashi Raj, um, that the king of Kashi or Varanasi, was um, supported. Uh, he supported King uh, Pandraka, and therefore he was killed, and his head flew into the uh, city of Kashi. <laughs> Byl zabit i s jeho spojenci, kdy vlastně ta jeho hlava i společně s tím Káší Ráčem, který se mu snažil pomáhat, tak nakonec přijde do toho města. Um, so, um, we discussed in previous classes how everyone who identifies um, himself or herself with uh, the idea that he is enjoyer uh, or proprietor of anything, he is in fact um, imitating uh, Krishna and want to be Krishna or um, considers h- even himself as Krishna. Tak už v minulých lekcích jsme rozebírali, že ten, kdo se stotožňuje s tím, že je ten poživatel, tak se snaží napodobit Krishnu a snaží se na ní hrát. Mm, because uh, Krishna is the only enjoyer and only proprietor. Protože Krishna je ten jediný poživatel a jediný vlastník. And um, if we pretend or if we consider ourselves to be Krishna, 
we are ultimately killed. <laughs> and um, not just if we pretend that we are Krishna. Here we can see that even his supporters were killed. <coughs> that means um, if we support anything or anyone in this world that uh, in, in separate consciousness of Krishna, that means that we are supporters of false Krishnas. Um, yes, and that means everyone in this world factually. Um, that means our family members, our um, garment, our boss uh, at the job, whoever. Uh, if we um, try to, to support them um, and if we don't have this idea that every th everyone is Krishna's servant and of course those who we support that have this idea too <laughs> then uh, we are supporters of false Krishnas <laughs> Um, yes, and uh, people support many things, football clubs, hockey clubs. <laughs> um, and and their ideas, what is what will bring them happiness. People also um, support this and, 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 and worship this, in fact. Um, so, uh, the consequence of this supporting is that we lose our head. Our what? Head. Um, and where our head is flying to? You have an idea, please? Yes, to our relatives, correct. <laughs> <coughs> but our relatives are in fact everything uh, we we are uh, depending our life to, on. So um, we can examine our thoughts uh, where they take shelter to. Uh, so that's where our head is flying to. <laughs> yes. And uh, if um, our head is flying towards um, Krishna's enemies, then everyone will be um, disappointed. Yes. Um, and we can we cannot help anyone, in fact. Uh, we can consider ourselves as supporters of our family. Uh, that we maintain our family, for example. Like Kashiraj was maintaining whole kingdom. And uh, we can support all these we mentioned before. Uh, but it's all in vain if um, we are not Krishna conscious and those who we are support are, are not Krishna conscious. And usually in this world um, 
only rare uh, um, and unfortunate souls are killed directly by Krishna. <laughs> Usually, um, Krishna's agencies um, care for for killing. Um, uh, because the king very rarely kills kills himself. Usually, he has some some people to do this job. Um, so uh, it's important to um, to have this in mind. Um, for example, um, there is one um, interesting uh, thought in in the Bible. Uh, where it is said that uh, the God is jealous God. And we may consider this as a um, bad quality, isn't it? <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> That one is jealous. This is usually not so um, mentioned as a good quality, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, but uh, in fact in fact it means exactly this if one <laughs> does not surrender to Krishna his head goes off <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yes and uh, that's why uh, mother Kunti uh, and queen she was a queen also prayed to the Lord to to sever and to cut um, her attachment to their children, to her children. She said, and uh, Sneha Pasham Imam Chindi. Please cut off this Sneha Pasham. Sneha means affection and Pasham means rope. Please cut off this rope of um, loving attachment to my relatives. And who are uh, her relatives? Pandavas. And and Vrishnis, she's uh, Krishna's aunt. Yes, she says, "Sneha Pasha me mam chindi dridam." Dridam that means very hard, very uh, very hard rope, not not just a small rope like this so I one can break with the hand. <laughs> um, that means dridam pasham, very very strong rope uh, to sneha pasham dam chindi dridam pandushu vrishnashu to both to pandavas and vrishnis. And um, for our astonishment, Pandavas and Vrishnis were all Krishna's pure devotees. <laughs> yes, Arjuna, who is one of the Pandavas, was Krishna's best friend. And Vrishnis were Krishna's relatives. And that means um, Vasudev, uh, Devaki, Krishna's parents. Mm, Uddhava, who Krishna himself said that he's even better than himself. 
but Queen Kunti prays that uh, she would uh, sever this affection. She would, uh, she would like to to have this affection cut by no. Krishna. And she says, "Tvoji menanya vishaya madu mati sakri madu bhavati." I forgot. Yeah, rati mudva kata tada gaunke bhanga madanvati. That, please let my affection flows towards you like like Ganges without any any um, any anything that that would put some uh, something between me and you. Tak nech tu moji nátlo, no tak to je napouze jen k tobě. A je stejně jako Ganga, které nic nepřikáží cestě, aby mohla prout um, jako v tenci. Um, <coughs> and we, we can know that the uh, great rivers like Ganges is um, find their way uh, over obstacles, around obstacles, beneath ob- obstacles, but they just flow towards the sea. A víme, že ty velké řeky, jako například Ganga, tak oni si dokážou poradit s těmi překážkami, že buď obepnou nebo podplujou, ale jakkoliv se nakonec dostanou k tomu moři. Yes, and, and this should be also our um, determination. A to by mělo být i to naše odhodlání. To achieve this, um, our ultimate destination. Dosáhnout té konečné destinace. And what is our sea? What is our ultimate destination? Krishna. And more specifically, pure devotional service. Yes, and even more specifically, you, you said something. Please tell us more. More specifically, <coughs> yes, Krishna's prema. That means pure love of Krishna. This is our goal. Because uh, it is said in the third um, kind of Shrimad Bhagavatam, Salokya Sarshti Samipya Sarupya Katva Mapyuta Diyamana Negrihnati Vinamat Sivanam Janaha. That um, the devotees don't care for different kinds of liberation if they are devoid of of um, service to Krishna. So um, devotees are not mm, eager to attain um, even Guloka without Krishna's service, without love for Krishna. And <coughs> of course there is no Guloka Vrindavan without <laughs> Krishna's prema. And Krishna prema. Um, so all your answers were correct. Mm, but uh, we should, of course, uh, understand because um, many times we can we can hear devotees um, in this um, mood of wanting liberation. Uh, just I would just want to to get out of this world to to go to Vrindavan. A měli bychom to více pochopit, protože často odaní uvažují tím způsobem, že by chtěli být už osobození z toho světa a už mohou být pryč a go na goloce v Rindávaně. Um, and this is in fact a desire for liberation. A to je ve skutečnosti touha po osobození. Mm, and this is not beneficial for, for devotional service. A to není příznivé pro oddanou službu. Yes, so we should... Um, know what our goal is. And this goal is called uh, Prayojana. Yes. So we should know um, who we are, where we are, our um, 
starting point and we should know what is our goal and then we can know also what is the, the way towards our goal. Tak měli bychom vědět, kdo jsme, kde jsme, kde je ta, ta startovní pozice, jaký je cíl a pak budeme vidět, jaká je cesta. Yes, and um, mm, Rupa Goswami uh, explained in detail what is our uh, path to, to, uh, to achieve this goal. A Rupa Goswami detailně popsal, jaká je ta naše cesta k dosažení tohoto cíle. And uh, first he said um, who we should associate with. Mm, and he mentions who is a uh, bona fide spiritual master. Mm, and he says, Vacho Vigam Manasa Kruda Vigam, Jihva Vigam Udara Pasta Vigam, Etan Vigan Yuvishakira Tirahu, Sarva Mapimam Pritivim Shashishyat. Bonafide spiritual master is one who is able to control his speech. Vacho vegam, this vacho means uh, talking, his words are ad- under control. Mm, and he controls his mind. <laughs> So, um, as we said that uh, Jesus said that whatever is uh, in the heart that will come out also from our mouth. Uh, so um, we can judge also uh, mind by speech. Mm. And then uh, kroda. Kroda means anger. Kroda znamená hněv. And uh, anger is very difficult, difficult to control. Uh, so if one is uh, easily angered, that means that he's not under control. So um, we should uh, consider also this feature. Jihva Vigam is the next one. That means um, the the pushing or uh, instinct of the tongue. Um, and tongue that means that um, one mm, is very fond of or um, he has big desire to taste uh, something very tasty that doesn't mean that we should avoid by all means the tasty prasadam uh, not at all, but uh, but if we are attached to have tasty prasadam and we are disturbed if we don't have it, then that means that we are attached to um, that we don't have our tongue under, under control. And, and then is udara is is belly. Uh, and um, our if our craving is to to fill our belly too much, um, just because of this craving, uh, that means we are also uh, or this uh, person we are looking for as a guru is not. Uh, Mm, bona fide, he has some problem. Yes, mm, because this is also a pushing of the body to fill our belly as 
much as possible. Protože tady ten nátak od toho našeho těla, aby to naše, ten náš hovorek byl co nejvíc plný, tak je to nemožný. We had a, a, some, a, some case in Slovenia uh, after some uh, Janmaštami. Now it will be Janmaštami shortly. <laughs> Měl jsem takový případ na Slovensku. Uh, vlastně na Janmaštami, tak tady také bude plný Janmaštami za chvíličku. Some devotee, he ate, I don't know, 50 gulab jamons. <laughs> After, of course, midnight. <laughs> And uh, he, uh, he was so sick because of overeating that he was taken to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> and his stomach uh, had to be pumped out. <laughs> yes. Uh, that means that his his stomach is not under control, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yes. So we should have our stomach under control. And uh, We can check ourselves, uh, in fact, uh, if we are under control in this uh, Jiva Vegam, this uh, wanting to taste, in, uh, to taste uh, delicious <laughs> food, and if we uh, crave to fill our belly too much. Um, and This is very very simple test. If we have too much fat, <laughs> that means that we have some some problems with uh, control. Yes. Um, so um, and then. Uh, Udara pasta vegam, that means also our genitals. Um, and we can see that Jai Shai Sinitai Navadip Chandraki Jai. And we can see in, in, in different um, spiritual communities uh, they have many problems with this. A můžeme vidět, že v těch jiných duchovních komunitách s tímhle mají konkrétně velký problém. Uh, and even our, kim, uh, our uh, society for Krishna consciousness is uh, not exempt from this. Uh, a i to naše společnost pro vědomí Krishna není tohohle výjimkou. So um, one should be very sincere and, and determined not to succumb to this vegas. Vegas or, or pushings. Tak ta osoba musí být velice upřímná, aby dokázala zvládnout ty nátlaky. Yes. <coughs> And this is not just for uh, to this this uh, traits or uh, features are not just to to test our guru or um, examples in spiritual life, uh, but also to to test ourselves. Ale tyhle ty jako vlastnosti tak nejsoužím k tomu, abychom otestovali našeho guru, ale, ale i nás samotné. Because um, Lord Chaitanya said um, Priti Viče Ače Yati Nagaradigram Sarvatra Prachar Hojben um, Morana that um, my name will be heard in all villages and towns of the world. Protože pan Chaitanya řekl, že to moje svaté jméno bude And so <coughs> the conclusion of Lord Chaitanya and also Prabhupada writes about this that everyone should become a guru. So all of you should follow this. All of us. <laughs> Yes, and um, we had uh, for a uh, few days uh, this um, seminar on how to um, raise our children in Krishna consciousness. 
A před pár dny jsme tady měli ten seminář na to, jak vychovávat děti ve vědomí Krishna. And we explained that mother is child's first guru. <coughs> so mothers are also guru. So mothers should um, check if they're um, proper gurus. <laughs> And um, husband is considered a guru of Uh, his wife. So he should check himself is his proper guru. And of course brahmacharis are being trained uh, trained to be preachers. And every preacher even if we preach just with our example Um, are also is also guru. So uh, we should know that this is applicable. Um, this explanation, what is a proper um, spiritual master, should be applicable to also to us. Yes, that's why uh, Rishabhadev uh, states that no one should become a guru, a father, a mother, a husband, or even deity or relative if he's not able to deliver those who are dependent on him. Um, and then he explains path to perfection, how to attain this, uh, attain this uh, state of consciousness. Um, and first he mentions what is detrimental for this. And he says, Atyahara prayasascha prajalpaniya magraha Jana Sangha Shalolyam Cha Shadbir Bhakti Vinashati. That these six items destroy our bhakti. Ahara means eating. Ahara znamená jezení. Um, and today is Ekadashi. <laughs> so, uh, Krishna. Uh, introduced these fasts um, for Kadashi and for appearance days of um, Acharyas and, and uh, Lord's um, incarnations uh, just to, to check this pushing. Um, and um, Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur writes in, in um, um, Ragavart Machandrika uh, that um, fasting for Ekadashi, for example, is um, um, the way to develop uh, love for Krishna. Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur se zmiňuje v jednom ze svých knih, že ten půst na Akadashi je jedna z cest, jak rozvinout lásku ke Krišnovi. So it's very beneficial for us. Je to pro nás velice příznivé. Um, and uh, ati means too much. A ati znamená příliš mnoho. Atyahara then means too much eating. Atyahara teda znamená příliš mnoho jíst. And other... Uh, Meaning, as Prabhupada is, is explaining, is too much collecting things. Yes, and both um, stems from from the the same craving, and that means that um, that we feel insecure, um, that our um, emotions are not pacified, 
And so we want things, uh, either we want to eat them or, or have them. A oboje dvě věci pochází z stejného vlastně problému, že my se cítíme jako nejistí, protože jsme nějaký působem emočně nespokojení a snažíme se ty co nejvíc toho sníst nebo být co nejvíc jistí vlastní. And so um, the, the modern places of worship are what? Takže ty moderní místa uctívání, to jsou co? Yes. Yes, big shopping centers. <laughs> Because people are um, deeply disturbed and emotionally uh, dissatisfied and they want to somehow or other be pacified. And uh, on the other hand, there is also a um, more and more increasing uh, problem of o- obesity. Um, so, we can see that um, this is the first obstacle that Rupa Goswami explains. And not just obstacle, he says that Shatbir uh, Bhaktir that those six items destroy our bhakti, not this obstacle destroys our bhakti. Yes, and then <coughs> then is prayasa uh, over endeavoring for material benefits. Pak je prejása, to znamená přílišné snažení o hmotné věci. Uh, yes, so we can also check uh, how we can check this. Jak můžeme taky tohle posoudit a jak to můžeme na nás posoudit? Uh, if we don't have time for Krishna consciousness, pokud for quality time for Krishna consciousness. Pokud nemáme žádný kvalitní čas pro Krishna vědomí. If we don't have quality time for our japa, And that means only japa and nothing else in this world. Mm, especially not smartphones. <laughs> uh, then uh, we over endeavor, even if we just uh, are lying on on sofa. Yes. Because this lying on sofa is over endeavoring, <laughs> because we don't find quality time for our spiritual life. Uh, and then it is prajalpa. And we discuss this in our seminars uh, or, or classes. Uh, that prajalpa means um, to talk. Uh, to gossip about others. A už jsme to diskutovali na předešlých lekcích, že prajapa znamená jako drba nebo pomluva druhá. And this is one of the um, most um, pervading disease of human being. To je nejvíce jako všeprostupující nemoc lidské bytosti. Because everyone wants to criticize others. <laughs> And we cited the example of one uh, bishop from South America. Who said that, that, one, uh, that it's completely impossible to, to avoid gossip. Because everyone uh, uh, are gossiping. <laughs> So it shouldn't be counted as a sin. <laughs> uh, yes, because then everyone lives and dies in sin. <laughs> and it is it is a fact. <laughs> and then uh, it destroys our concept because uh, we all 
since uh, as long we are uh, material contaminated we depend on on miracle at the time of death a do té doby než jsme vlastně do té doby dokovat se hodně podmínění tak uh, závisíme na tom zázraku v okamžiku smrti mm, i mentioned this a um, few times already but it's not um, too much if i mention it again už to zmínil hodněkrát because uh, people tend to think that um, they can live ordinary material life and at the end of life and then some miracle will happen um, and they think for example i come from um, christian background and i know m- practically every christian um with some exceptions maybe uh, they uh, live ordinary material life uh and maybe they go to church for sundays if they're really pious um and they think themselves good and um they consider that at the end of life i will go to heaven Jelikož já pocházím z toho křesťanského pozadí, byl jsem toho křesťan, tak uh, znám, ty, znám většinu těch křesťanů a skoro všichni jsou stejní, až na pár výjimek, že oni žijou úplně obyčejný život a v neděli jdou do, do, do kostela a myslí si, že prostě v okamžiku smrti tak půjdou do nebe. And we can hear also from devotees who are not so strict with their sadhana and, and um, principles and they eat um, karmi food and so on. Uh, that, yes, Krishna is merciful. And at the end of life, I'll go to the spiritual world by Krishna's mercy. And mercy of Srila Prabhupada. And mercy of Srila Prabhupada. Yes, but Krishna um, is not d- does not agree. Krishna na um, uh, He says, "Yam yam vapis maram bavan tajan tajan ti kalivram tam tam eveti kanta ya sadatat bave bave taha." And that means, mm, um, whatever state of consciousness, whatever we remember at the uh, at the time of death, that state of consciousness will achieve without any doubt. That means mm, whatever consciousness we have now, that of consciousness we will attain. That there will be no change. To znamená, že takové, jaké vědomí máme nyní, tak takové vědomí dosáhneme, nebude tam žádná změna. And that means there will be no miracle. To znamená, že to nebude žádný zázrak. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no miracle. Žádný zázrak. Um, so if you want to be in spiritual world, world after death, tak pokud se tady posmrtí v duchovním světě, we should be in spiritual world now. Tak měli bychom být v duchovním světě už teď. Yes. Um, and this is extremely important because <coughs> uh, death is a traumatic experience traumatic yes <coughs> everything is um, stops at the time of death at this process of dying our lungs are being shut down our kidneys <coughs> our liver our blood circulation our our senses everything uh, is being shut down so it is con- um, really traumatic experience 
and um, we can know if we are now uh, when everything is relatively okay uh, if we are disturbed uh, how difficult it is to concentrate on the holy name a my můžeme sami znát, že i teď, když všechno se je v pohodě, tak když jsme trošku rozrušení, někdy tak je velice obtížné se soustředit na svaté jméno. And um, how can we uh, think of Krishna in this condition if we are not trained uh, in this way? A jak můžeme teda myslet uh, na Krishnu, když jsme také podmínění a nejsme také trénováni? It's completely impossible. Tak je to na, absolutně nemožné. So our head will fly towards our family. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And our family is where our heart is. And if our heart is with Krishna, then our head will fly towards Krishna. Um, yes. I think I will end with this. We didn't discuss uh, everything what is uh, about destro- destroying our bhakti, and there are also six items that uh, support our bhakti. But I think we don't have any more time. Huh? Tak, já jsem si, že tady skončíme. Ještě jsme neprobrali všech těch šest věcí, které zničí to naši bhakti a ani těch šest, které ji posílí, ale už asi nemáme čas. Mm. So, is there any questions? Tak, máte nějakou otázku? Or comments, nebo nějaký komentář, nebo doubts, nebo nějakou pochybnost. Yes, please. Já jsem jako řekl, no, že, že jako Bůh je zároveň jiný, stupně jiný. So I uh, didn't understand uh, this point that the God is jealous. I'm to understand it more, please. Aha. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, That means, in fact, if, if we use our language, that means that the Lord is um, detached. Vairagya. This is one of his opulences. Uh, and that means that uh, he's not attached um, that everyone should love him. To znamená, že není připoutaný, aby ho každý miloval. Uh, if you want to love anything else, he will um, even mm, support you. Pokud chcete milovat něco jiného, on vás tomu podpoří. Because he explains in seventh uh, chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Gita uh, uh, he says, Yo, yo, yam, yam, tanum, bhaktikr, shradayar, tritum, ichati, tasyat, tasyat, shalam, shradam, tam, iva, vidadam, yaham. That, um, Whatever is your focus, your faith, um, he will uh, make uh, he will make your faith more firm. Tak sedmá kapitola Bhagavad Gita, která je navesetuje, je, že cokoliv je, cokoliv chcete věřit, cokoliv se zaměřujete, tak Krishna posílí tu vaši touhu vlastně. Because we cannot do anything without faith. Protože nemůžeme nic jiného dělat bez víry. So we would be completely lost if we wouldn't have faith uh, in anything. We wouldn't do anything. <laughs> so Krishna mercifully strengthened our faith in whatever we we decide to put our faith in. So if we want material things, He will uh, strengthen our faith in material things. Uh, and if we turn our faith towards Krishna alone, <coughs> he will strengthen our faith in Krishna alone. So, um, but as it is explained also by Jesus. <laughs> that no one can serve two masters. So, uh, then one uh, then one will hate one and serve the other, in fact. 
will hate one master and serve the other. Yes, so if we, uh, we rely on material things, that mean that we don't trust Krishna. So Krishna will, will support us also in this regard. <laughs> yes, but if we um, really try to, to purify our consciousness and um, serve just Krishna, Krishna will support us too. Ale pokud opravdu chceme očistit své vědomí a sloužit pouze Krišnovi, tak Krišna nás tam také podpoří. Hare Krišna. Hare Krišna. You wanted to ask something? If I remember correctly, I heard some story on Lali Parikha Lali. If a devotee is dying and he is not able to remember Krishna, then Lord Shiva will come and shout Gauranga or Yes, yes. Tak já jsem slyšela na hlavní karikomě takový příběh od Daní, že když jako od Daní umírá a už není schopen vzpomínat na Krišnu, tak uh, se sedí pán Šiva a začne jako mluvit Gouranga. Slyšel jste to o tom? Yes, yes. Um, yes. Vypadá jako zázrak. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, uh, how to reconcile this? Yeah. It looks like a contradiction, isn't it? Um, that happens to those devotees who um, strive for this. That means they went to to um, Navadvip, Mayapur, um, to develop pure love of Krishna. And then if it happens that one cannot remember anything or, uh, at the time of death, then Krishna will certainly come uh, and enter his mind. Of course, Navadvip and Mayapur, um, especially, are um, holy dam. Where everything is miracle. <laughs> and also Vrindavan. But we can see, um, and also explained by Prabhupada, that if one is um, a sinner and and uh, depends on mercy of the holy dam he becomes a pig there yes or, or a monkey um, so they are also very very elevated uh, human beings of course to to live at the holy place <laughs> but of course this is not our goal uh, so if, if but even if we don't live in the dam or leave our body in the dam um, if we uh, strive all our life or at least um, from the, the beginning of our our Krishna consciousness uh, to to be Krishna conscious and to give everything to Krishna. Then, if we are not able to remember Krishna at the time of death, Krishna will nevertheless uh, enter our mind. Yes. Because we are determined to achieve this, so Krishna will help us. Um, but if we are attached to material enjoyment, then Krishna will also help us. <laughs> Or if we have divided desires, mm. 
also for Krishna and also for material enjoyments. I pro Krishna, I pro Then, of course, we, we shall uh, have time to purify ourselves. Tak ještě mít potom ten čas se dá Krishna will help us to take another birth to purify ourselves. Krishna nám pomůže se znovu narodit, abychom se mohli znovu víc očistit. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes, please. Hare Krishna. Chci se chtěl zeptat, já prvnou mluvil o tom, že když chceme jako do duchovního světa, tak je to jako osvobození. Ale když ten důvod je takový, že tam chceme kvůli tomu, aby jsme tady nebyli atakovaný tou májou a mohli jsme tam jako krásně sloužit. Hmm. So as you mentioned that when we want to go to the spiritual world, that's a desire for liberation. But what if we want to go to spiritual world because there is no attack of Maya and we can more focus on the devotional service? If uh, if our um, desire is just to serve Krishna, then it's pure desire. Then it's not desire for liberation. And then we are not focused on on going to the spiritual world. But we are focused on serving Krishna. Without obstacles. So, um, and this is um, um, bona fide prayer to pray to Krishna to remove our obstacles to even in our mind and consciousness and outside uh, obstacles uh, to, to, to pure devotional service. But if we uh, over-focus on just going to the spiritual world, that means that we want to be just liberated from this world. That is a desire for liberation. <coughs> then our um, our pure devotional service is covered by uh, jnana. Because we understand that um, material life is full of misery. And spiritual uh, life in spiritual world, mm, this conception when we want liberation is uh, then of spiritual world is just uh, some kind of heaven, in fact. Um, because then our uh, mm, desire for spiritual world is is. Uh, not serving Krishna in the first place, but um, this enjoyment mentality that uh, when I go to the spiritual world, I will enjoy there. So um, then it is uh, both coverings of jnana and karma. Uh, Gyana, because we know that we are spiritual entity and that we'll, if we go to the spiritual world, um, we will be liberated. <coughs> and karma, because uh, we, we uh, do our devotional service, uh, but we desire to attain something um, else. That means some enjoyments. And uh, that that means that our uh, devotional service is not pure. Not even our determination is not pure. And um, whatever is our sadhana, that will be our goal. Yes, because the goal is always dependent on sadhana, on the process. So it is very important to know what is pure devotional service.
Takže je velice důležité vidět, co je čistá oddaná služba. Because if we practice mixed devotional service, we'll uh, reach mixed goal. Protože pokud uh, praktikujeme takovou jako mi- mixovanou oddanou službu, tak dosáhneme takového mixovaného výsledku. Mm. M- maybe we don't, uh, we are not purified, of course, uh, at the beginning, but we should know what is a uh, pure process. Samozřejmě na začátku nejsme ještě očištěni, ale měli bychom vidět, co je ten čistý proces. Because only pure process will lead us to pure goal. Protože pouze ten čistý proces nás vyvede k tomu čistému cíli. And that means <coughs> that if we detect our um, other desires from uh, from Krishna and if we detect this um, obstacles of jnana and karma and other things then um, we should we should repent and uh, pray to krishna to remove this and then we follow even though we have these contaminations we follow the pure path and we will achieve pure goal and this is what Prabhupada brought to us yes and all acharyas and so on is this okay Hare Krishna anything else so I would like to thank you I now heard some uh, talking about devotees. It's now really a lot known among devotees that a lot of devotees don't hold at all any past on Ekadashi. So can you say, say something about this? A uh, vlastně Shri Prabhupada says that if uh, these devotees, they don't hold this vrata, this uh, past which he has given us, then there is no question of meeting God. Yes, this is not just Prabhupada. This is all Acharyas are saying this. <laughs> Even Lord Chaitanya said to his own mother, that uh, she should follow Ekadashi. <laughs> yes, so we can see how important it is this to follow Ekadashi. And this is uh, explained, um, I mentioned before uh, Raghavart Mashandrika from Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur that um, just by following Ekadashi we can become um, successful in spiritual life. Because we, will de- we can develop love for Krishna by following calls of Ekadashi. Because Ekadashi is very dear to Krishna. And uh, it's expression of Krishna's mercy. Because we are immersed in bodily consciousness. And we don't know this uh, before we we don't take a very small thing what we are used to and then we, we experience how much we are attached to, to everything. Um, concerning our body. So, um, this is in fact Krishna's mercy then. Then uh, he, uh, we, we should uh, observe this 
different fasts, not just for Kadashi, but also for for Lord's Appearance Day and and Great Acharyas. Um, and that will help us to to realize how helpless we are. Yes, and to turn to Krishna with all our heart. Yes, of course there are pitfalls uh, in every way. <laughs> so, so we can. Um, uh, yes, so we can become proud to follow full Ekadashi um, as prescribed in the Vedas. That we have a complete fast even from water. And we um, keep vigilance all night. Um, and then um, we can look upon other devotees who eat, who avoid just grains and beans. <coughs> As sense enjoyers. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we should be very careful. Um, but if we have this consciousness that um, they are very advanced and they can have prasad, um, of course, Kadashi prasad, but I, uh, I'm very low and would like to, to get at least to the level of their servants. Then this is very good meditation and, and good if we follow such a fast. Um, so, of course, uh, we cannot consider ourselves as devotees if we don't follow the prescriptions of our gurus. So if Prabhupada says and uh, Acharyas and Krishna himself that we should follow Kadashi, then we should follow Kadashi. Yes, because devotee means that we don't have independent will. Yes, if we have independent will, then material world is the place for us. <laughs> we are just servants. Whatever we are given, we accept. Yes. <laughs> uh, in fact, um, it's compared by Acharyas um, that devotee is like a cow. Um, the cow that w- this was sold to, to s- a new master. It was sold uh, to new master. Yes. So um, we were sold from mater- devotee is sold from material nature to Krishna. <laughs> and as a cow goes with new uh, master and doesn't uh, look back to hi- uh, to her previous master. And uh, she doesn't bother herself uh, how uh, how will she survive? What she will eat? Uh, where she will stay? 
she should just faithfully follows new master. And just gives milk to new master. <laughs> so we give our milk to our new master, to Krishna. And we don't bother uh, about anything. So whatever Krishna gives us, that we accept. And what he withdraws, we also accept. And if we don't accept, then that means that we, we are looking back for our previous master. And then, of course, Krishna will let us go. <laughs> okay. Hare Krishna. Shri Prabhupada ki jai, Nitai Navadip Chandra ki jai, Nitai Gaur Pramanandi Hare Krishna.